What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another PS Vita homebrew video and today we're going to be talking about Twitch. Twitch on the PS Vita. Does it still work? Yes. Yes, it still works pretty good. And you'll need a plugin in order for it to work properly because if you just download the application as is, you will get an error saying it can't reach to the Twitch servers. And so I'll be showing you how to download this and you will need PKGJ installed. You can go through the PSN store to download it as well, but I prefer uh, PKGJ because it gives us a nice little diagnostics. So press triangle and go down to show games. This will show us all of our PS Vita games. Very nice. Press triangle again and go to size and we want to categorize them from smallest to largest to find it quickly and it's going to be under 12 megabytes or under the 12 megabytes section here which is not many it's just three but it's 12.41 megabytes there it is twitch you select that install game and patch and this game will work thanks to zero syscall six that's our diagnostics and it's giving us all green when you download it for the very first time it will say all green but if you go and open the twitch application and it gives you an error go back into pkgj and hit twitch one more time and it will give you a diagnostics result of what happened and for me on my ps vita 2000 i was doing a lot of different tests on the 2000, it kept saying that you needed a plugin called Zero Syscall 6. So, error, you're missing the required plugin. And that's another thing that we need in order for this to function properly. So, with Auto Plugins 2, whoops, with Auto Plugins 2, we'll need to install that plugin. And my PS Vita 2000 is currently having issues with Twitch running. But I did all the tests here with my PS Vita 1000 and it's working just fine. Go into Vita plugins, install plugins, and it should be the first one there. Zero Syscall 6 by SKG Leva version 1.3. A tool that patches PlayStation Vita's secure kernels Syscall 6. So hit that X button, install it, exit by pressing start, restart your console, and you will be golden to use Twitch and twitch will download a patch or an update and just follow through the instructions there it's going to tell you to go back home uh, restart twitch and then it will install that update once the update is finished you will have to log into your psn account and connect to the internet obviously and you will be good to go so here is twitch on ps vita as of february 3rd 2022 and it's working just fine for the most part i did watch several of my favorite uh, twitch streamers and it seems to be working as it should uh, nothing too crazy when it comes to options when you press start it just says the legal and help and you can log into your account if you wish to do that Let's go back. Let's go to games. Uh, let's check out. Let's see here. Let's check out. It's hard to check some of these games because a lot of ads are running and I hate ads a lot. So we're probably going to cut that to show you. Oh, one of my. There we go. We have Zach playing Asmongold. He has 7,000 viewers. And let's see here. Don't online right now, he says. Now, the selections you see on the screen, we have like uh, two clips, we have a heart, and we have an eye. And you will have to use your D-pad to move around and select. So we can sign up or log in for free to chat and follow. And our information here. <laughs> a lot of followers and viewers the last icon is the two clips and it will take us to highlights and pass broadcasts very cool collecting and chilling chilling oops something went wrong 
let's go back and it's not going to work 100% guys it's going to be you know on and off i've seen that sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's kind of weird let's try this one more time let's go into league of legends let it load i'm just going to select tyler 1 Playing League of Legends, 33,866 viewers. So there we go. We have live coverage of Tyler1 playing League of Legends. One of the more popular streamers on the platform. He's hilarious. So yeah, Twitch is working. It's kind of weird. You have to let it load and do its thing. And just be patient with it. And it should be working. No problem. Yeah, so that is it for the Twitch app on PS Vita. I'm still working on the issue that I have with my PS Vita 2000 where even though I have everything set up properly, it's still giving me an error saying I can't reach the servers of Twitch. But I look at my PS Vita 1000 and it's working just fine. And it's almost identical setup, but there has to be something missing I even reformatted my SD card on my PS Vita 2000 to see if that would work, but it's still giving me that error of servers not being reached or something like that. So I'll still keep digging, and if I find a solution, I'll try to pin that comment in this uh, video down below. And for those who figured out that issue, please let me know in the comment section. It's been driving me crazy. I've been testing this for a whole day now and I still can't figure it out maybe I have to uninstall a certain plugin or something but I have to check my plugins and see if they are identical for the most part they were but I was so tired last night that uh, may have missed one or two so yeah I'm gonna have to check on that Vita 2000 and see what's up so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification icon, notification bell, so you don't miss any videos like this and many more coming up very soon. I appreciate you guys and rest in peace, one of my favorite characters on one of my favorite shows of all time. Finally finished it. What a crazy ending. Love you guys. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.